Hi there, this is Fei Wu and welcome to another video here on Fei's World. I'm really thrilled that you're here. And today I want to talk to you about a very recent experience I just had watching a show called Triptych. watching the show as part of Arts Emerson here in Boston and by the way it was at the Emerson uh, Cutler Majestic Theater again it's just a really gorgeous space and I think it's just the perfect space for it I had no idea what triptych was I didn't know who Robert Maplethorpe was and this was kind of intentional because typically what I do before I go to the show is I try to check out some YouTube videos try to read some of the interviews on New Yorker or wherever you have it and I thought that was important but today I decided that I'm just gonna go in and be fully immersed and see how I interpret the show without outside influence and it was really interesting as you can imagine if anybody has even heard of um, Maplethorpe he was a very um, acclaimed photographer uh, also a lot of legal battles because so much of his work was considered provocative and you know people were saying hey is it nude or is it pornography and for the first time ever on screen I literally saw so many naked men and women and at the beginning I didn't know how to really interpret them and there was an older woman next to me who apparently belongs to some sort of a book club and really into this line of work she was super excited and she was kind of prepping me for this and I was like mm, I, I want to just like you know see it for myself but it was actually really helpful to know just a bit what I discovered that was fascinating is apparently even though on um, Robert uh, Maplethorpe uh, you know was a gay man for the majority of his career, the majority of his adulthood, he did date Patti Smith, which is one of the America's most beloved OG singer, songwriter, and poet, and all of that combined. And it's just a woman that I absolutely admire. And she has a new book released this year in 2019 called The Year of the Monkey, which I stumbled upon, I heard about through Maria Popova's newsletter, and I just fell in love with it. Just the way that I just, something so interesting about their relationships together and by the way she did write the poems for the first half of the show um, Triptych and the way that she writes just coincides with the way that uh, Maplethorpe shoots and thinks um, the two are super raw super authentic and I just love how daring both of them were you know and and how she did it I don't know most likely she created um, this piece you know for this it's not a musical it's basically um, very talented musicians on stage including uh, instrumentalists as well as well as vocalists you know combining forces and with these amazing sort of silk screen um, projector screens where you can see the poems on top while the people are singing to it behind or sometimes in front sometimes behind the screens super artistic gave me a lot of imaginations and ideas for how to execute art you know how to make it even more immersive invite people in even though they're not literally on stage with you um, so it's very fascinating and I want to say that you know the the work is very powerful did I get it right away no you know I felt like it was really over my head especially not knowing the sort of historical um, context of what you know who he was and what his work represented and how he was true to his delivery and you know how people misinterpreted and misunderstood what he was trying to put out to the world and hence the legal battles and kind of a lot of debate about who he was as an artist and nevertheless you know people remembered him and and realized how important his work was but also sort of the historical context really mattered he was born in 1946 and I think about it my dad was born in 1947 therefore they are you know from the same generation and for that generation of men coming out and really claim their identity and be proud of it and to deliver art on top of that that takes bravery and just the clarity and and the daringness and to lead and to pioneer 
their, their thoughts into their work and to leave their work behind and do the work like Seth Godin says, he did the work that matters and still something that people talk about today. And because back in the 70s and 80s, coming out wasn't an easy thing, right? Today, still not easy in many places of the world. But in the city that I live in, Boston, Beijing, Shanghai, New York City, the, the cities I kind of travel through frequently, I don't even think about it. It doesn't occur to me. But it's a str struggle that many people still live through. And it's something that uh, Maplethorpe actually addressed. But it's about this new world that we're living in. You know, it's about the world that perhaps that his work has influenced 20, 30 years later. And it's really powerful. So I don't think I'm giving anything away. It's really hard to give things away from this particular show. So I encourage you to check it out. And this probably, this show isn't really for kids. So it's sort of, I think it's an 18 plus type of show for you to enjoy with other of your adult friends, I would assume. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and please leave your comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on uh, Maplethorpe's work. And especially if you have seen Triptych, um, please let me know. I'll, I'll be super intrigued to hear what you have to say. And also Patti Smith. I think these are such influential, very icon iconic artists in their fields, right? So I want to say briefly about going to see a show, a, f a very physical show in this case, but also just to be surrounded by people and to be in a show, to be part of an audience that I felt like I was lost at times because I didn't really know the significance of who Maplethorpe was, um, you know, what his works stood for, that sort of thing. So I had to be comfortable with the unknown and just sit with myself for however long, in this case, the show was actually relatively short. It was for an hour, but it's okay to feel uncomfortable and to to be to try to get comfortable with discomfort. Instead, you know, working my YouTube videos, thinking about thumbnails, and constantly seeking ideas out on other YouTube channels, watching Netflix uh, movies. Instead, I'm in that environment where there's no other digital reference. And all I had to do and to rely on was myself internally and to interpret whatever that didn't come easily to me. And later on, discuss with my associate producer, Adam, about what his interpretation was. And he was also a little nervous in explaining it because it's such a sensitive topic. And because neither one of us had this kind of full body of knowledge about who these people are, and or anything really about the work. So it was challenging, even for me to think about recording this review, even though it's not quite a review, I, I do, I'm super curious about what other people have to say because I, I find this type of work to be innovative. It's not, it's not circus, it's not a musical, you know, it's kind of in that steady pace that you have to be at peace with a very, you know, provocative or, or difficult subject. Anyway, enjoy the show, and I hope you find time to see a show, uh, to really enjoy that moment for yourself, especially if you're a content creator. I feel the pain. You wanna be constantly learning and creating, but sometimes it's okay to slow down and, and see what you can get out of that. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and for visiting our channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell button because I wanna see you again. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.